And good morning, my dear friends. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday. Trust you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It was a scorcher. But you know what? You've stepped into the right place. You are right here at Sunshine's Quarter on Blab TV. And of course, as always, we've got a great show lined up for you. Lots of information, lots of fun. And of course, this week, we're going to be touching on a very important day that's coming up on Sunday. We're talking about Mother's Day. What a day. My, 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 my. And do I have some guests in the studio with me today? Look at the smiling already, okay? <laughs> but uh, I want to welcome my good friends from the Visionaires. Good morning. They are morning, here with morning, me today. And morning. I mean, hey, look, when we say the Visionaires, <laughs> everybody know about the Visionaires. You know, I want to say to anybody in Pensacola, Mm -hmm. And come on, Tim. I can look. I see the smiles <laughs> on their faces, right? But look, anybody in Pensacola know what you've brought to the genre of gospel. Yeah. What you have brought to the table, and what I believe in is consistency. Consistency with anything is what works. And I, I have to go back and start off with Tim. And um, no, let me stop this. Let me roll back. Tim, introduce yourself. We're gonna come around so that everybody know who. When I say Tim, they don't think I'm talking to. Uh, um, Pronounce your name? By Terry. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tim Moore Thurman of the Visionaires, um, AKA they call me Boogie. Um, Sam Cook. Sam Cook. <laughs> Tim, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and uh, go ahead, tell them about yourself. I've been singing gospel a long, long time. I've been singing since I was five years old. So um, it originated from my dad and his sisters. Um, they were called the uh, Friendly Four okay. of Pensacola. Then they moved to Selma, uh, was Pens uh, the Friendly Four of Selma, Alabama. So they were the original Friendly Four that um, started. Then my cousins took it over and- um, I didn't know that. And ran with it. Um, I shared uh, one of my cousins singing last night on Facebook. I saw that. He was part of that Friendly Four that, that they took it and ran. Um, then my dad moved here and um, he got with the Gospel Four of Pensacola. Get out of and here. And that's when me and you. That's when I met him. <laughs> that's yeah. a long time ago, guy. Man, I did not know the Selma history. Yeah. So we, we got plenty I mean, of people in Selma. What? We from, we from up in there. I, I, that's what my grandma and everybody from said. Oh, you better hush. What? <laughs> <laughs> now listen at that. We done made families didn't even know about all this, these years. All this time. <laughs> all this time. Now we're going to go on around. My name is Baterius Isaac Sr. Um, I was made, born and raised here in Pensacola. Um, I've been singing since I was six. Uh, Y'all have a little babies out there singing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we know back, I, my grandma was strict, so we didn't have no <laughs> choice. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but to go to the choir. That's right. Prayer meeting. That's right. Bible study. That's right. Senior choir you meeting. Already That's know. right. Whatever. BTU. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, you uh, wasn't well. going to, was no question about Sunday morning where you oh, were going. No. Uh -huh. Wednesday night, no question where That's you were right. going. Nope. That's nope. right. You know, nope. and I think That's we right. need to bring that back. Yeah, but, uh, we yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're missing that. <laughs> we're missing that link. But I say that to say that. Uh, what's what's your nickname? My my nickname uh, they really call me B. Okay, or... B. That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to know. Now look, B, you've been singing since you were six. Sam Cook been singing all of his life. Everybody I call him Sam Cook because when I heard him, I said, Oh my God, he sounds so good. He sounds like Sam <laughs> Cook to me. And uh, but I say that to say, with your with the world today, how it is with music. And you know how with gospel, you got every kind of music out there, and you guys are the younger generation. But what is it that kept you so focused to your home? I'm talking about to never step away from gospel music. Well, it, it, it was embedded. Um, it was in my roots. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you have to love it. Um, I have been offered... I can Believe imagine. Not, I have been offered R and B. I can I imagine. have been offered uh, the new Southern Soul uh -huh. that's out now, but it's nothing like gospel music because mm -hmm. it really touches the soul. Yes, it does. Um, uh, the spirit within the music. Uh -huh. You can be having a bad day, but time you turn, come on now, that gospel music on. You better talk to me. <laughs> everything else goes away for that moment because exactly. you feel the Holy Spirit come in. That's so, right. Um, I could never go away from it mm -hmm. because I love it so much. 
It's a key uh, word there. You got to yeah, love what you do. You got to love what you and, do. And I think sometimes when God gives you a gift, don't take that gift and take away from what he gave it to use it for. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And That's I say right. that because with you see how the Southern soul talk about this, some of them yes. can sing, some of them can't. Uh, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that you've been, be that been approached that way too with things that have kept you, but but, but what, what you're born and bred with, right. what the gift that God gave you, you use it to bless his people. Right. Right. You know, right. And wh how did you maintain? I mean, me basically for me is uh, when you actually when you're doing this, like you like you say, you got to love it. Mm -hmm. And then also there's a lot of things I've been through life and what got me out of it was music. OK. Gospel music. Like I'm, I'm on my praise team at church and things. So I do. I don't only, only do this outside. Right. But also do it inside my church and stuff like that. And so when I'm actually singing. Some most of the time, people don't know that I'm actually singing for me. Come on, now. for what I'm going through, and I could be tore up on the inside, but you'll never know. Right. But some people, some people would know because I they, do that often. <laughs> Ooh, you look right. at me, but if you only did what I'm dealing with on the inside, if only right. if you knew. I'm telling you, if <laughs> right. only you knew. If, if only you knew. Right. If only you knew what I was right. feeling on the inside. The and I have to say, that he said, "Oh, you know, but they've been out there so long, you know, like they." You know, <laughs> hey. I got to say, like your what? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I'm 20 years in with him. 20? 12. But how long you been in business? Yeah, well, but, well, about 15. About 15 years, years <laughs> in with him. <laughs> but the group been together 20. Yeah, we've been together um, 20. Then you got to add another 10 years when I was with my dad group. Exactly. Yeah. When I so, first met you. I'm 30 years into quartet. Uh, let's go ahead and say that this is quartet music that yes. we're singing. Yeah. And uh, but you know what? I was born and raised on quartet music, mm -hmm. and, and I mean that's the, the core of my soul. Yeah. And I sure I love all types of gospel right. music, but when it comes to that core, 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 yeah, you can't take it away. Well, quartet was the first thing that was that came about Thank far you. as in um, gospel music, right? Because Harmon when they was out so there, always they was harmonizing in the slavery. That's back, right. Come on, let's go back when to slavery. When they was out there in, in the fields. It was the, the four, or the five, and yeah. they were That's humming they were That's right. So it was quartet. That's right. First. That got them over there. That got them over. How I got over. Now we come into the choirs. <laughs> and the, Exactly. Yeah. So. And you know, it, you know it, it, it behooves me because of the fact that we're expecting a special guest, but they're having a few technical difficulties. And uh, I'll let everybody know we're expecting Paul Porter, mm -hmm. who is a legend within legend. his own time. Yeah. Right. That's, uh, yeah. Hopefully he can get that uh, connection fixed today so we can get him on. But I wanted to ask him just as that because he's been in this a long, long time. time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean a long, a long time. time, and um, he has uh, sung with some of the best. Some, yes. who you tell <laughs> award winning. One of the guys yes. asked me this morning, "Is he a wannabe?" I said, "Oh, uh, uh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, 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 he's the he, he is. <laughs> he's him. The, he is. He's a genuine. He's he the, is he him. Is, he, he is. The, and, he is. He is. He make me stutter. When I say a genuine brother, mm -hmm. a genuine person, exactly. That's Paul Porter. A man. That's Paul Porter. A uh, man of God. That's Paul Porter. Believes in what he does. That's Paul and Porter. And does it professionally. Mm -hmm. You couldn't ask for nothing better. I, um, I agree. And I, I have been knowing Paul now for uh, about seven years. Mm -hmm. And when we connected, we bonded. I got and you. And that bond hasn't broke. Right. And, um, and it's, it's amazing because you see, sometimes you meet some people, and I'll say this, everybody, we're talking about Paul Porter, but see, coming up on this weekend, we got a show that's centered around Mother's Day. Right. And of course, these young gentlemen here are going to be the, one of the guys that's going to lead us off. We'll talk about the visionaries. Yes. Uh, but we've got Paul Porter and the yes. Christianaires. We've got Tim Rogers and the fellas. Yes. We've yes. got Zacardi Cortez yes. and Pensacola's girl. She's coming back home. Keita Richardson. Richardson. That's right. And you know, and it's got, we've got the Divine, Divine Harmony. Harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to add some more ladies in there. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. <laughs> You don't Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Yeah. Nothing wrong. <laughs> but listen, guys, if you want to, you got a question you want to ask the guys, you can call them up at 850-432-7768, or you can text at that number as well. All about this great big Mother's Day uh, extravaganza that's coming up on this weekend. Yes, uh, and if you want to get your mama something. Get her two tickets. Get her oh, two tickets. There you go. <laughs> get them tickets. Get them tickets. <laughs> no doubt yeah. about it. Go get them tickets. There you go. And make sure you come out and do it. It's going to be right. at Pensacola High School Auditorium. But I'll say this, and i got to give out the props where props are deserved. I want to say good morning to David Hawkins. Yes. I mean, David yes. has been there. And um, um, 
he came up and said, well, how, how, how would you like to do this? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Taking them run with it. You don't meet people like that too often. That's right. That's you don't right. do that. That's right. Heart, I, I believe in what you believe That's in right. and uh, say, take it and go. That's right. You know, I appreciate that. And when it comes to the community, he's a staple mm -hmm. right here in this community, yes. just mm -hmm. as you guys are. Yes. Right. You know that you've been here, you're doing so many other things. Mm -hmm. You've got so many shows. See, when it comes to singing people, when it comes to music, it's not that just because they got a voice, that's all goes with it. That's right. right. It's what it's you a, do outside. It's what you do outside. You got to do outside. It's a ministry. Yes, yes, yes And you is. have to walk in it, and you have to carry yourself the same way you're singing, you got to walk and carry yourself Come in on. it. That's right. Yes. You know, so, uh, and I just tell the guys all the time, well, Tim, are we young? I say, well, but what you have to understand is you're being watched. There you go. Every move, every step you make, I'm telling you're you. being watched. And it, it, it's not too long ago, they, they came back and they're like, Tim, <laughs> boy, they watch everything we do. Absolutely. Yes, they do. Yes. No doubt. Yes. And because you you'd, be would, you'd be amazed yeah, yeah. You'd be at what, how people are, do keep their eyes on that. Yeah, exactly. Like and outside. I'm not going to cut you off because I see you want to oh, get into that. Oh, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like here because... <laughs> like when we go on to Walmart, like what we do, we, we don't know who we touch. That's right. And like we, we can't even go on Walmart or something like that exactly. here and not people coming up to us and tell us how that they song mm -hmm. or how we how they appreciate us from for coming to their church or their anniversary right and and singing to them. And that kind of, you know, gives a, a, a warm feeling yeah. like I'm not doing this in vain, which I know I'm not doing mm -hmm. it in vain, but it just feels good to know that you touch in the community absolutely well. absolutely <laughs> we, isn't it easy you know sometimes people don't realize when you're being uh when you're compassionate about something mm -hmm. uh, that passion does not just appear on the stage that's right exactly that's right. it's everywhere you go it's everywhere you take it where you're going everywhere. and um and that's not even with the show the the, the compassion that we uh, uh, to be passionate is a lot of work very. My God, it's a lot of work. Very. A lot of very. work. But what I'm saying to the community is this. When you've got people like Tim, when you've got people like B, Michael Jackson, all the punkin. Right. I mean, these right. are members. Name all the members in the group. Uh, uh, did I Columbus, do it all? Columbus, Columbus Robert, Robert Hill. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, who? Those, those are the actual members. Of right. Did you say Robert Hill? Yeah. Robert Hill Jr. Robert Hill Jr. No, oh, play the bass. Okay, I, I, you know what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> <laughs> you think about me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say. Then you got Punk, and we brought Punk and Mike in as as, as like father figures because okay. they had been doing it years before. Oh, yes, yes. We had been doing right, it. and um, it was an honor to bring them in, and then they taught us a lot as well because we was young. We were very young. Right. Um, he was 16. Um. How old is he now, 18? Uh, uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> they were still in high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we were still in high school. Those guys. Um, yeah. and, and, and we looked up to people like Tim, Punkin, right. Mike, because we saw how them boys did it and everything. Because when we, when we first got into it, we used to come up there and sing what we had on that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as we grew up, gotcha. we like, these fellas went and got blazers together, uh -huh. look alike, and... Tim and Punk and them went and got um, and Mike. They all looked at one accord. So we grew. We were like, mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna go to the store. Absolutely. And we're gonna get vests that match. Oh, you know. Yeah. Now we to the point where now I, I love dressing. <laughs> but see, we got the, the, them, them green, them green. Uh, oh well, yeah. Now they got that green. Now we got that loud. Man, we had to get that. They talking about those colors. They got that. Don't forget about that green. I'm gonna give you a um, incident that happened, and and this is why it is very important for us. To keep doing what we're doing. We was at a con uh Pastor Gibbs church one night singing and um a lady came in and uh we sung a song. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the song we sung. When we got through and walked outside, she came out to us and thanked us because she said earlier in that week she was gonna kill herself. What? She oh, wanted yeah. to kill herself oh. and um she was contemplating on coming to the concert or not. Uh -huh. um, she heard about but it. But God. But God. And um, we, had we, some, we had some, hold on. Hold on. That's what it was. Okay. And we immediately prayed for that lady on site. We prayed for her on site. Mm -hmm. Because you never know. Who you touching. That's right. You never know. What God is doing through mm -hmm. them songs mm -hmm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. So when somebody asks us to do a certain song, we try to do it. Um, because we don't know 
what's going on. Absolutely. Um, what does the word say? Make a joyful noise. That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. When you enter into his gates, that's what right. do you do? You enter it with praise. With praise. Yes, uh, like making it. a joyful noise. That's and right. that's what we should do. But I, I can say that. And, um, okay, I almost heard something. Okay, but listen to this. When you see that, when you know that you're reaching people, and thank God for it, I want to commend you guys for not giving up, not mm -hmm. stopping, not luring, uh, leaning to the right, leaning mm -hmm. to the left, going down this because the R&B may make a mm -hmm. little more money over mm -hmm. here. But you see, your reward is going to be so much better. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please make sure you be a part of this conversation, 850-432-7768. You can call or text today and talk to Tim, talk to B. And uh, I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties getting Paul Porter in, but we're going to we're gonna zoom him in by ourselves. Yeah. Gonna say, hey, we're going to say what he's going to say. <laughs> right. We'll be right back with more of this great conversation with how they have maintained in the community for so long singing gospel music right here on Sunshine's Corner. There are many reasons someone may need in-home care, whether it may be respite care, then recovering from surgery, or having a chronic condition. Having someone dedicated and reliable is imperative. Supplemental Support Care Services was created to provide to those who are in need with quality care that they deserve in the home. Taking it a step further, our main goal is to ensure that Supplemental Support Care Services is where the love and care is top priority. Empire Truck Sales, located at 2255 West Detroit Boulevard in Pensacola, is your Freightliner, Western Star, Detroit Diesel, and Cummins dealer for Northwest Florida. Open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., providing sales, service, and parts. Empire Truck Sales is also your Oasis dealer for Freightliner Custom Chassis RV and Motorhome Repairs. Running I-10 will get you in. Many who consider facial plastic surgery are concerned their results will look unnatural. But with over 20 years of serving the Pensacola community, his thousands of satisfied patients have made Dr. Derek Jones a trusted reconstructive and facial plastic surgeon known for industry-leading results that look natural. Call 850-484-FACE to schedule a consultation at one of our locations in Pensacola and Gulf Breeze. I'm Dr. Derek Jones. Trust your face to a facial plastic surgeon. The Lloyd's Glass and Crick Calibration Services is a one-stop shop because you can come get your windshield replaced and right behind that replacement at the same appointment, we will calibrate the cameras and when you leave, everything's ready to go. There's no need to go to the dealership or there's no need to come back for another appointment. We just take care of it at one time. We put the customer first and we strive to do everything right the first time. Lloyd's Glass and Correct Calibration Services, your one-stop shop with same-day service. And welcome back to the hottest spot there is in Pensacola, Sunshine's Corner on this Monday morning. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend and you know what? We're trying to make things happen so we can get all the information, information out that you truly deserve. And that is um, also um, getting you connected with Paul Porter. Okay, I tell you what, whoo -hoo, guess what? We got Paul Porter on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. There you uh, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> good morning, Paul. How are you? Oh, I am doing good. Technology is trying to stop me from getting to my people and my friends. <laughs> That's right. Come on, bro. Come on. Come but on. You see, I'm not going to let it happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, we may not. But, you know, everybody know Paul Porter's face anyway, right? They, they know it. They, they know, know it. that oh, face anyway. They know it. Can't forget it. Um, I, I don't know if they want to see it this morning, but. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul, we were just talking about uh, with being in the music industry and you are such uh, one of those great success stories. You are a legend within your own time. And uh, I just want you to somewhat tell the people what it is and with the music that you do that has kept you so focused these all these years that you're still bringing great gospel music to us. Well, for several reasons. First of all, a close relationship with Christ. God has always maintained me, sustained me, through, even through sickness. Of course, you guys know. Yes, I had Lord. God, God healed me of that. But beyond that, you know, just, you know, reading the Bible principles, you know, it keeps you close to Christ, and, and God guides you through all of this. It says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. 
But then on the business side of that, you must be consistent and focused, not going to it for, you know, the gain of fame and fortune. And I've always kept a music attorney. Now, I mean, it's just logical. If you're uh, doing music, you don't want to go get a marriage lawyer. <laughs> if you're <coming laughs> that's right. You get what I'm saying? That's right. So, so I've always kept, I've, I've had the same uh, uh, attorney, uh, uh, entertainment attorney for 30 some odd years. Wow. And uh, he's been very consistent in keeping me, so to speak, I'm not going to say in the game, but he's been keeping me um, relevant because at the end of the day, I just did this year, uh, released a single uh, maybe three weeks ago with the Mississippi Mass Choir. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Paul Porter. And I'm excited about that. And then we're up for three stellars uh, this year. And I'm not bragging. On, I'm just bragging on God because he's always, out of 44 years, I look back and I'm going like, this is amazing that I'm still here right. doing this. But it's, it's contributed to following the path that God leads. Absolutely. So and I, you said 44 I, I wanna, you know, years. Yeah, 44 years. And I, I just want to encourage the youth. You know, go into it for the right things and don't give up. God has a place for everybody and a purpose for everybody. That's right. And I'm just so excited and elated that you guys even thought of me to have me on this concert, but to still be doing it at the level we do it from a professional standpoint, it takes a mindset, a spiritual set, mm -hmm. and then to, you know, trust in God and believe that you can still do this mm -hmm. because it's not easy. It's, you get tired along the way. Oh, God, yes. Right. Oh, right. yes. 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 But I, I, and you know, Paul, I want to say to you, when I think about the very first time when I saw you and you were doing your testimony, mm -hmm. my God, mm -hmm. I mean, mm. that right there within itself, yeah. It's enough to tell anybody that they right. know that God is real. God is real. <laughs> and I, I commend you, know, you because, I mean, mm -hmm. you are just phenomenal. You, God is well, using you, and you are being, and I, I love the fact that you don't sway away from it. And you, no, uh, you know, that, that, that saying about, you know, some songs are life paths for you, because when you talk about James Cleveland years ago wrote that I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me, mm -hmm. and I don't feel no ways tired. And he said, my way may, may not be easy, and he didn't say it would be, but if you just keep on trusting in God, he'll open another door for you. That's right. So, yeah. I, you know, I've been persevering a long time, but getting back to this concert, I am so, <laughs> so, so crazy elated that this is good. Do y'all know what you really have going on here? I don't see how y'all put this together. You got my, my brother, Tim, Thurman, who's a powerhouse within himself, I got a chance. Like he's, you ought to see that smile on his face, Paul. <laughs> oh, that's my brother. That's my brother. I'm so proud of him. We work together in the studio, so I know firsthand of what he does on stage and in the studio. Absolutely. He's a phenomenon in himself, and Pensacola has something to be proud of. And then you got um, Keela Richardson. She's a, a, a new talent. Mm -hmm. and, and a new talent in an old woman's body. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right. So she is such a veteran. God has led her, and she knows what to do when she gets on that stage. Yes, she does. Yes, she you does. know, usher the spirit in. But then you got Tim Rogers and the Christian Airs and just so many others on this. This is just a, this is a jamboree. But <laughs> 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 well, you know what, when you think about it, Paul, when you want to do something for it, to recognize mothers, you got to go mm -hmm. big. You, you got, got to, to go big. You got to go big. That's right. You did it. I you mean, for mama. Because nobody like mama. Big. Ain't nobody like mama. Yeah, nobody, nobody like mama. Like mama. <laughs> yeah. I really want to say that Pensacola hasn't had something like this in a long, long time. time. That's what I told her. It's been a long <laughs> time. Days. Yeah. A long time. So those that are sitting around here contemplating, I don't know. Should I? Go? <laughs> you don't know what you get ready to miss. That's I right. tell this you. Time, get those tickets. <laughs> It's time to just go ahead and, and plunge down, get that ticket so you can get a blessing because it's too much anointing that's going to be in that house. Don't that's you right. know yes. it? This, Don't you know it? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I tell you, Paul, and I thank you for all of the encouraging and the words that mm -hmm. you have given mm -hmm. throughout this process. And uh, mm -hmm. with you, Tim, the same thing. I want to say thank you thank because you. you've been there. And uh, with all that you do in the community, I thank you for that as thank well. You. And you see, people, this is what you hear me talking about uh, all the time. 
You know, take the I out of the equation. Exactly. It's us. That's right. Take the I out of the equation. It's we. That's right. I mean, there's nothing that we can't do. And I think about that when you're compassionate about something, you know, do it from the heart and let God handle the rest. That's right, he's going to handle it. He's going to handle it. And that's what this is all about. You you know, we've heard for years, we have heard for years that, you know, there's this cliche that said, where there's unity, there's strength. Uh But I have to add three in there for the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, where there's unity, there's strength, but there's also power. Come on now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, when we put all of this together, this is a power-packed Mother's yeah. Day on its way. That's and right. we see in Mississippi, it's on like a pot of neck bones. <laughs> <laughs> neck bones, I tell you, with a cup of rice. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's it. Right. That's it. Then you got a combination there that's yeah, really that, good that's stuff. Right there. I told Sunshine yeah. Paul when she called me about it, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. she didn't realize what she was doing because you don't get that type of lineup um, mm. to come to Pensacola mm. like that. When Tim brought it mm. up to us, uh, he brought it to the group and, and told her who's on lineup. I said, how's she gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, we were like, what in the world? She's gonna put Paul, Tim, Sakari all together? Yeah. Keela all together? Oh my God. Man, that's, that's, that's. <laughs> See, boring. everybody go get something. Yes. Yeah. 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 You got quartet, you got contemporary, you got traditional. Oh, yes. You, you got it, it all. all. Everything you need is gonna be in that one place like Paul said it's just gonna be too, it's too much anointing going gonna be going <laughs> yeah, on yeah. in that one place on that one roof I, yeah, I, say, that's right. I ain't gonna be able to contain myself <laughs> Man, <laughs> forget the words I got to say myself you see, you see how you when you get to talking about the goodness did, y'all see, did you see the excitement that <laughs> yeah. came upon this right here yeah. I mean the excitement that's exploded right then because that's what it's all about and we want to encourage everybody now if you want to be a part of this show now remember that you can text me if you got a question you like to ask Paul a uh, question you li- would like to get over to the visionaires 850-432-7768 <laughs> Text me, text me, and I will answer the question for you. I'll read it for you and text it as well. But the fact of it is, we're talking about Mother's Day this weekend. And I, mm-hmm. I was sitting uh, thinking about it because uh, it's been 20 years ago that I lost my mom this year. Wow. 20 years. Uh, 20 years. But you know what? She's just as present yeah. today as, mm-hmm. it was. as it was That's 20 right. years ago. Do yeah. uh, you know what That's I'm right. saying? And I, and I say to everybody, I mean, do something special for your mom. Don't say if. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do exactly. something for your mom now. Exactly. Bring her out something to let her enjoy something that's specially, des- you know, designed for mm-hmm. mom to have a great time. Mm-hmm. And okay. uh, it's going to be this Saturday at Pensacola High School Auditorium. We're kicking it off. We're not going to do CP time. It's going to be 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's good time. That's good time. Oh, they Everybody been and did everything they needed to do. What's her say, Paul? Some of them might not know what CP means. Okay, I don't think they know what that CP stands for. I'm gonna tell you, that's your task for today. Look up what CP time stands for. <laughs> Text me when you realize what CP time stands for. <laughs> We're not doing CP time. That's right. Uh-uh. That's right. No. Uh-uh. But I tell you, but Paul, I want to thank you for taking the time to call us. And I mean, well, I'm gonna reschedule that Zoom though. Okay. Okay. We we'll, we'll do it. You know, I'm just I'm more than happy to be a part, and I'm just so excited that the event is uh, finally come to a head. It's this week, y'all. Mm-hmm. It is really here, and uh, we're just excited, and and the uh, excitement is in the air. But I'm just saying one more time, this is huge yes. for <laughs> Pensacola. It is. Yes. Yeah. When wow. you think about Zaccardi Cortez alone, yes. has topped the charts for five straight years yes. with hit on the radio yes. and you've been able to I, I was just telling someone the other day I was communicating with his booking agent and it's just so difficult to get him booked so it's the favor yes. of God that all of this is coming right at yes it a is time such as this to Pensacola I Pensacola get ready it's, 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 it's gonna be awesome it's gonna yes, be it an is. explosion it is and Paul we can't wait to see you Saturday my bro gonna oh, do his thing. You oh, know, he yeah. always. Uh, <laughs> Paul gonna do it. He, he gonna do it now. He know I got to get the camera ready for him at all times. Absolutely. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm a, I'm a be hugging my Pensacola people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never been the word. I never been the word bougie. <laughs> no man, I was telling I'm them earlier. 
and just letting everybody know we love them and appreciate them for coming out. We're looking for a high time. Yeah. Thank you so much, awesome. Paul. Thank you. Awesome. Everybody, make sure not don't don't forget all about that. That's going to be happening this week. Now you were about to say something, Tim, and I we laughed it off. I was I was uh, about Paul uh, when I was telling you guys earlier about the genuality mm -hmm. of who he is. Uh, since I've met him, he's been the same. Nothing has changed. Right. Um, and and that's very important um, when we are here doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, be the person that someone can walk up to you. And say something mm. to you, or give you a hug, shake your hand, mm -hmm. without you mm. giving them attitude or you, you acting like you don't want to be bothered with them. Because number one, they paid to come see you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and if you're doing it for the right reason, your heart. Oh yeah. That's your, that's we'll right. let you, you do that right there because it, I mean, yeah. it's ministry. Absolutely. And and yeah. there's. You have to be right. No doubt about it. All the way around. I tell you. Everybody, you know, now we talk about everything right here on Sunshine's Corner. And today, really, it is just filled with nothing but good news of That's Christ. It. And what we're talking about. You see, he's the foundation of everything. I tell you, every time, if you put him first, there's nothing you can do. That's right. Stay close, my dear friends. We got more coming your way right here on Sunshine's Corner. Need a new outfit for a special occasion? Look no further than Biola's Men's Apparel. Biola's has been providing the latest styles and accessories in Pensacola for over 20 years now. We have clothes for every occasion and we offer consultations and group discounts. You can trust that our care, quality, and class will be unmatched. Biola's Men's Apparel, for all of your men wear needs. This is Wayne at Icon Automotive in Robertsdale, Alabama, and I wanted to tell you more about our powertrain warranty forever. It comes with any vehicle we sell that has 80,000 miles or less at no additional cost to you. We put our vehicles through a tough safety and mechanical inspection before it can have the powertrain warranty forever, giving you a peace of mind with your purchase. This warranty is good anywhere in the country and it covers 100% of parts and labor with no mileage limit and is covered as long as you own the vehicle. Come pick out your dealership car at non-dealership pricing with the powertrain warranty forever at Icon Automotive. Watch a new episode of Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Hosted by Sergeant Melanie Peterson and David Craig. Your tips may be eligible for a cash reward. Featuring items about officer training, various aspects of police work, and crime prevention information. You'll hear about upcoming family-friendly engagement events as well. Don't miss Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Hi, my name is Brett McCabe, this is my wife Tanya, and we're the owners of Pensacola AC and Auto Service Center. From the moment you walk in the door, we are here to take care of you. Honesty and excellence are the standard of our team. Our goal is to give you peace of mind from oil changes to AC repair. All of our repairs come with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. We have a clean, welcoming waiting room with free Wi-Fi. When you leave here, you will have peace of mind. Come visit us and experience auto repair from people who care. Welcome back to a fantastic Monday morning where we are really, really having a grand time right here as always with Sunshine's Corner, talking to our very own, the visionaires right here in Pensacola. Thank you guys for getting up early. And of course, <laughs> our good friend, Mr. Paul Porter, who's on the line with us as well. Thank you, Paul. And- uh, Oh, my pleasure. Listen at this, guys. I want you to, when I ask you this question, I want you to finish the sentence. When it comes to gospel music, when it comes to gospel music, it's my it's it's life to be. <laughs> when it comes to gospel music, it's all about God first. Hmm. Paul, when it comes to gospel music. When it comes to gospel music, we're talking about God and his message to touch others and, and, and lift them up and give them love, hope, and peace. When I have emotions that sometimes bring me down, what brings you up? Gospel music. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs> I say that because, you know, when you think about the ways of life and things that happen with us every day, as we were talking earlier, you can look at me and I have a great big smile on my face, but you don't know what I'm dealing with on mm -hmm. the inside. Exactly. And uh, if you do not have something positive to hold on to, you will fall for anything. Mm -hmm. If you do not know any truth, you'll fall for anything. How mm -hmm. is it with the world as it is today? And you see the things that are happening and 
uh, even right here in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see how yeah. often we are losing our youth. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is it that you can contribute your gospel music? How can we even get to reach our youth that's going through things? I believe it's got to be with some things with mental health. We're afraid to. It, it uh, is. Uh, yes. cap, we're afraid, afraid in my it eyesight, is. what I see, to admit that we have a problem with it mental is. health. Yeah. Which is okay. Yes. That's help for us. But yeah. with you being in the community, seeing how we need to help in that area, what do you, how do you reach some of the youth that you see? Because I see when I follow you guys, there are young people that are in the church too. Right. But then you see young people that's there are the ones that's leaving. Well, um, the, the way that I feel we can reach them, um, I'm going to say it like this. Um, it starts at home. Tell the truth. Um, it starts at home. Um, then we can trickle to the church. Right. Because we have to plant the seed at home. Right. Um, then once we plant the seed at home, we also need to plant the seed at church. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say plant the seed at church, um, there's a lot of churches that have gymnasium mm -hmm. um, programs for kids. We got to get those kids in there, get those programs going, and and, and keep them in there. Mm -hmm. And um, here's the number one thing I think it is too, Sunshine. Um, we have to be able to listen to the children when they talking. Right. Because it's a lot of peer pressure out here with our youth because the times that we're in now is not the time that I was oh in. Oh God, I tell um, you. It's a lot of peer pressure. You got a lot of video games that got violence on it. Um, social media. Social media, oh, it, it's, 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 it's out it's, of hand. Um, social media is just. Tell me about it. Paul, how do you think about with social media and the young people today? Uh, you know, social media has really taken its toll on a lot of young people, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. all they live for. They, they, uh, some of these kids are just stuck to their phones, and, right. and they mm -hmm. don't, they don't even care about nothing but social media and life. But going back to the the same thing y'all were talking about, reaching these kids. Two things. First of all, the the people that they look up to, they have to be reachable. Come right? on we, now. we have to, uh, we have to be humble enough to humble down and want to make sure that we come together and reach these kids. But secondly of all, my whole ministry of 2024, God gave me this, is one big word, encouragement. Come on. Come on. And exactly. in that, we've got to reach these kids by letting them know it's okay to be square. It's okay to be uh, <laughs> right. normal. It's okay mm -hmm. to be, you, you don't have to be the biggest, uh, uh, baddest basketball player in the school or this, that, and the other. You got to let them wrap your arms around them and let them know whatever place you are, there's a place for you and a purpose. Absolutely. So we have to encourage these kids, get into their minds that they are somebody. No doubt. No yes. doubt. No yes. doubt. That's going to help them grow and be reached. I agree. Now, what about this? You know, now, now this is an area that we don't talk about often. Sometimes, even with the parents, even with the kids, church hurt. Yeah. Is a, yeah. Church hurt. Yes, and, and it, it, it cuts deeper sometimes for some people because they, yes, it does. They put they put church people on a pedestal mm -hmm. and they look up mm -hmm. to us and stuff like that. Uh huh. And but at the same time those same church people can actually reach out to those youth and things like that because a lot of church people like people don't know has a past too of but course. they oh, but they overcame right right and mm -hmm. all you seeing now is the cars the houses and stuff that they work for but you don't know what they went through that's right to get to all get that stuff or the case and be absolutely so and that's that's one way i know how you can reach like a lot of people um that's in church Tell their testimony. Mm -hmm. Tell them how they use. I saw a, a clip on social media that um, this guy, somebody was robbing his house. Instead of him shooting him, he actually had, they both had guns at each other. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. He <laughs> talked them down. And right. And walk, welcomed him to his I, I home. I saw that. Right. And, and talked to him like, hey, I've been there. Absolutely. You know, he was talking about making money. He was like, I'll show you how to make money. But you see, with the youth today, though, they think that it's all about quick money. Quick, right. Quick, exactly. Quick, quick. Right. Exactly. Okay, but right. we got to learn to bring them back to the foundation. As we talked about earlier, Paul, when we first started this conversation, there was no question in your mind on Sunday morning you were going to church. You was going there to was church. no yes. question yes. on yes. your mind on yes. Wednesday yes. evening you yes. were going to Bible study. Yes. Right. Yes. But yes. now, 
Uh, I mean, kids I, have more choices. They, they got a choice, but I feel <laughs> like now my being the parent. Now I'm old school. Me too. When it comes to my two children, <laughs> they yeah. may be grown. But still, there's a level of respect that's in my house. That's exactly. right. I don't care how old you are when you come visit me. That's but right. But that rule that's was there when you left that's is right. still and still. Mm. What I'm saying yeah. to you is this. How is it that we get the foundation, like you said, it's got to start at home, mm -hmm. that we get that mm -hmm. foundation. If you've got a strong foundation, your side's going to stand. Yeah. Right. If you got a strong foundation, your roof not gonna cave right. in. Yeah. But how is that we gonna get the ones that are not giving that foundation to the youth, thinking that quick money is it, quick flashy mm. gold is it, big fine mm. two hundred dollar tennis shoes is it? You better get that bobo and go walk. <laughs> hey, a lot of times you have to let them know that, like, because some people tell you if you don't go to college, you're gonna fail. Uh -huh. That well, is yeah. not true. That is not true. Mm -mm. It, it, there's so many successful people that never have stepped a foot mm -hmm. into a, a actual college class, mm -hmm. and they are successful. Right. And so, like, they, you got truck driving out yeah. there. Yeah. You got welding and stuff. And uh -huh. these people make more than when people go to college that's been in college for eight, mm -hmm. 12 years, in the case of me. So you have to let them know that, you know, you don't have to, you know, because college ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. But, you know, of course, like in my family, oh, yeah, you got to go to college or this and that. Good. I can hear <laughs> mother right now, yes. <laughs> but at the same time, though, uh, I, you know, went to school and stuff, but I'm a truck driver. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I love what I do. So, and I have to let them know, and I got to tell them anybody, hey, go over here and um, scholarships is out there that will right. pay for your schooling and stuff like that. And you don't have to be in school for eight years right. or four years or whatever the case may be. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but um, like I said, uh, our youth, if we can just reach them and let them know that, you know, because I, I was a youth. Mm -hmm. And like, like you said, it, this, the, how I was raised, it's certain words you can say in your mama's house. Mm -hmm. We couldn't say the word stupid. Hey, come on. We, we couldn't say lie. We had mm -hmm. to say tell a story. Right. Exactly. Uh -uh. <laughs> and you know with my kids right. being grown, I said, what did you just say? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Grandma. <laughs> Right, but you in right. my house. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, right. but I say that to say, Paul, because, you know, like, with the kids nowadays, they're cussing you out, you look at you wrong. Man. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 It, I mean, this generation, I've never seen a generation like it. And I'm not downing these kids because there's always hope for each right. individual style. But. I've never seen a generation like this, and, and, and they're just so... Now, I, I, I credit them because they learn so fast. They, they do. do. And yeah. there's so much accessible to them on the Internet, but at the same time, it, it's a, it's a, a catch-22 because it gives them an opportunity to go left mm -hmm. with, with so many things. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And it, it, it is... I, I, I see exactly what you're saying. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that we have not advanced. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have yes. advanced, yes. but yet and still, mm -hmm. I think that our morals, that we have right. leaned too much to the right, mm -hmm. right. when right. it comes to setting the foundation right. with uh, morals. You know, kids, now you walk in the store, they cuss it so loud, I'm like, didn't you see me standing there? Right. 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 <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But I'm saying that we as a, as the adult in the community, we mm -hmm. got to do our part. And I believe if we can just say one at a time. One. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. Oh, you yes. got to start somewhere. That is so important. Exactly. You got to start one somewhere. One at a time. Yes. If it's one, one at a time. time. Yes. We've made one a difference. Time. Because that one probably yes. had three attached to that That's one. Right. Come on now. Yeah. That's right. You hear it. And you know, it's not just in Pensacola. Right. It's yeah. all over. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's all over. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's all it's over. It's everywhere. Every and so what we're saying, look, bring them to, uh, bring them to uh, the show Saturday, then take them to church Sunday. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Right, right. That's right. Because even with that, I say that sometimes we we ask the kids what you want to do instead of saying, look, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? Right. And, 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 and when I was brought up, my mother would say, okay, we're doing this. Right. That's we right. Got, well, and that's what we're going to do. And that's what you're going to do. I think if we do right. that, don't get me wrong. I understand the fact that with these devices that they have now, uh, everything is going through that. But I still think the parents need to be a parent. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they, yeah. they do. And, and and here's another thing when you say a parent need to be a parent. Also, if you look at the generation, you have, I, I say it like this, you have babies having babies. Say it again. Babies having babies. When you have a 18-year-old 
having a baby or just say 16 year old having a baby now they are grandmothers when they're 30 when they're 30 so how can a 30 year old not saying it can't be done right be a grandma exactly so mm-hmm. now you gotta uh, and she say it. Up, bro. <laughs> you gotta she so living now, her life too so now <laughs> when when the kid get grown and have kids now uh-huh. she's a, Great grandma. <laughs> exactly. You, you, and it's amazing. I see that too. And it's amazing. Yeah. And, and uh, um, what bothers me a lot, though, is when I see so much disrespect uh, right. to anybody. I mean, right. especially right. My, uh, the Bible says, respect your mother and father That's so right. that your days be long. Be long. Maybe. Long, and right. they don't yeah. understand that. That's right. Yeah. And God don't lie. That's right. No, no. <laughs> you he, know he, what I'm he, saying? He, he don't. Uh, I, I say that to We just want to inspire everybody that wa- listen to us today. We've talked about gospel music, how you got started at six years old, five years old. Paul been in this business 44 years and yet focused on what he's doing. And what I'm saying to you as well, get to lay a foundation for something. Right. It's not all about quick money. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about that. That will come when you build that. That's right. right. We're going to talk more about that when we come back right here on Sunshine's Corner. I just remembered it's election day. Are you going to vote? I don't know. I don't think I'll have time today. Millions of eligible voters in America never make it to the polls or even register to vote. When you don't vote, you're letting other people make decisions for you and pick the things your taxes will pay for. Voting is more than a civic duty. It gives you a voice about the priorities and the future of your community and our nation. Voting gives you a seat at the table. Do you want to create but don't know where to start? Our new fabric line will inspire you. If you can dream it, we can help you make it. From using kits that include everything you would need to taking classes to create something more personalized, Daryl's is the place for you. No matter if you're just beginning or experienced, Daryl's has you covered. Find us at 6705 North Davis Highway. Open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. The Reesburg Institute, Pensacola's Ear, Nose, Throat, and Voice Center. We welcome you to visit us at our convenient Davis Highway location in Pensacola. At the Reesburg Institute, we offer the most advanced treatment available in a calm, stress-free environment. Since 2014, we've performed over a thousand cases in Office of Balloon Sinus Surgery, as well as septoplasty and nasal procedures using oral sedation. The in-office procedures result in a faster healing time. Visit us and feel the difference. Hello, my name is Eric, and this was my first visit to Little John's. The selection, uh, the pricing here, and the customer service were outstanding. I would definitely recommend. Uh, the staff was very friendly, and they'll get you what you need. Hi, this is John with Little John's Big and Tall here in Pensacola, Florida at 5700 North Davis Highway. Check us out at littlejohnsbigandtall.com where we can take care of you with extra large up to 14X and large tall to 6X tall. And welcome back to the hot topic. I mean, today has been huh, one topic after another, <laughs> but it's all centered around the same. Yes. And uh, I tell you, when you, t- I was just telling Tim uh, as we were talking offset that the fact of it is that when things go on in the community like such it is, you would tell me about this other thing that you and Paul would share with me mm-hmm. about how it is with somebody walking to church today. You just don't know. You don't yeah. know. You just right. don't know. You don't, don't know. know. So right. you, you got to be prepared at all times. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unfortunately, it has gotten to that point that mm-hmm. somebody got to be armed in church. Come on now. Um, and it yeah. is what it somebody is. Somebody got to be armed in church. And has somebody got has to. to, like at my church, we got a deacon at the door, armed. Uh, Get somebody in there. at the front, armed. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is because yes. you have to protect not only yourself. But, but we want to protect the whole congregation exactly. at the same time. Yes. Um, and I sometimes guess. people just walk in right off the street. You don't know what they yeah, motivate. You don't know what, what's going through their mind. What do you think that's attributed to? How can you think about that, Paul, when things get to that point? Um, um, that the world, the, is world so- is, the world is, is hurting because I think the, 
the the whole demographic has changed ever since the pandemic. And I'm not, you know, contributing just to the pandemic because things have been happening for years and years. But it's something about that pandemic that transition. People don't want to go to work anymore. They have more time on their hands. And kids, you know, today have access, like we say, to the computer so much so that they don't even want a regular job. And they want this quick fix and quick money. So there are some kids that are getting so discouraged. Mm-hmm. That's why we see so many kids walking into the schools and killing and in the schools just shooting random. They're sitting at home and, and taking their Jeez. parents' guns and, and getting as much ammunition as they can and just walking in and shooting five, yeah. seven people. And they think it's a fun thing to do. And when they realize they messed up their whole lives, it's too, it's late. too late. Absolutely, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. I mean, that's um, I, when you hit, when you when you say that, and I think that's also because now I, I have to interject this. Mm-hmm. Now there, you know, we got two entities. Now there's one. His sole purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. That's right. Yes. That's but, right. And if you don't know who the real right. Jesus is, that's right. Exactly. You'll fall for the imitator. You'll fall for the imitator. Exactly. And he's on his yeah. job. He that's said, right. "I'm going to steal. I'm going to kill. I'm going to destroy anything, and I can." That's right. But, and that's why right. I think it's so important why we got to focus on getting the young people mm-hmm. back in the church. Because you know we as a black people, we've always, li- our church has been our strength. That's right. Yes. That's right. The church has been our strength. That's been our safe haven. And we have got to teach and regain that confidence to spread that to the youth, uh, to get them taught mm-hmm. so that they can learn from whom and whence cometh their help. That's right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and to stop right. this, all these tragedies that are going on as they are today, mm-hmm. because it is mm-hmm. such a tragedy. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's a tragedy when you get up every day, you you reading something else that you've heard or something right, happened right down the street. Right. Exactly. exactly. Right. You know? But, you know, we as yeah. a community got to come together and take care of That's that. That's right. It, it, it we takes do. a community. We, we, we got to give these kids more to do and not to let them have so much time on their hands. Yes. And a- every once in a while, we got to pull some of these devices away from them I and agree. just go one-on-one with, with hands-on communication to get in their minds and That's hearts, it, Paul. Uh, you know, another way. I agree. Because, you know, you, when you talk to them now, they're so used to, what, emojis? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you sit down and have a conversation with me. Right, right. I don't know how you're feeling if you're texting That's me. That's right. Okay, right. but now, right. I, but if I can hear your voice, I can pick up on right. something That's right. in your voice. That's right. Your yeah. emotion. You, you got, yeah, exactly. that's it, Paul. You got emotions there. And let's say uh, with these young people with these devices, again, I say, yes, we have uh, elevated. We've come to that. But I don't want that to take the place of that's my right. sitting at the dinner table talking to you and telling you how my day was. Right. Exactly. Prime example. Right. You remember when we was kids, Christmas. Oh. Everybody goes outside mm-hmm. on Christmas. That's right. This Christmas, I actually took time to just pay attention. I walked outside and looked down the road. And I know it's kids down my road. None of the kids outside. Playing. That's what I'm saying. No more bikes, no more I mean, we used to be out there no, riding that bike. No so more big to get wheels. Yeah, a little group Everybody's going inside playing the game. I know it. On that device. On that device. And I mean, like, I can remember, oh my goodness, man, I got scars on my knees yeah. today for falling off that bike. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. But you know, Paul, what I'm saying, when we grew up, we had things to do on the outside. Yeah. And you knew that's at so. dark, you better be in that house. You better house. be in that house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But now, come on. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, I, I go, I'm not going outside. It, it's, yeah. more, it's more kids no. outside at night now than adults. Uh, yeah. They don't even have to be fired. To, to, you know, that's why I think the kids, if you, you're on your own now. It's just yeah. individual play. Absolutely. Because the kids don't even play with each other anymore. They don't. They that's, right. Just, that's right. They don't. They, 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 their devices, they, they're, they're free. Uh, absolutely. Right. I agree mm-hmm. 100%. Well, everybody listening to this, I tell you, this show has been absolutely fantastic today because I love the information. Because I believe in knowledge. Knowledge is power. That's right. Yeah. And once I can keep the knowledge coming and keep sharing it on air, that people who are listening to this show and watching this show, if you're at work, turn it down just a little bit. You can go back. Now, you'll be able to come back. We're going to play this again this afternoon at 6 o'clock so you can see it again all over. So um, what, I'm, what am I saying? What we got to do now is just 
make sure that everybody's aware of what? Mother's, Mother's Day this Day. weekend. Mother's Day. We need y'all to get them tickets. That's yeah, right. Indeed. Mother's Day this weekend. We're having a great big Mother's Day gospel show coming up on Saturday. For all moms, come on out. The very, the legendary the Paul legend. Porter. Yes, indeed. He's going to be there. We've got Tim Rogers and the fellas. That's We've right. got Zacardi Cortez. Yeah. We've got Keela Richardson. We've got the, the visionary yeah. and divine yeah. harmony. Divine harmony. Why do I always uh -huh. the, turn the name around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah, tell you, but I can't say this enough. Thank you so much, Paul, for taking the time oh, um, for calling in to stay with us online to get this message out because we've had a great conversation today. Thank you so very much. I look forward to seeing you when you come in this weekend, okay? All right. All uh, roads lead to Fifth Coast. All right. That's right <laughs> thank you, Paul. We'll talk to you then. It's all time right. for us to get out of here, but thank you so much. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. right. Bye-bye. Everybody, it's like this. Um, it's been a fantastic day. We've talked about some things that should have to really have you thinking a little bit today mm -hmm. uh, about things that we can do to continue to encourage and inspire, especially with our youth. Let's not forget our foundation. Our foundation never changes. That's right. It never changes. Never. And I believe that we've got a lot to do, a lot to grow on, a lot to make changes with even making it better, mm -hmm. if yeah. you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for doing what you do in the community, being consistent. Paul came right on and said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Anything that works, you've got to be consistent with it. Consistent. Consistency works. Mm -hmm. Consistency works. If you do it over and over, it's going to become a part of you, and you know that's your destiny. Exactly. And when it keeps rolling and rolling that's and right. rolling, it only gets better. It only gets better. And I, I encourage you guys to keep doing that. Pumpkin, who don't love pumpkin? That's right. <laughs> love him with a perfect kind of love. Michael Jackson. That's right. Robert Hill. That's right. Look at that. That's right. <laughs> of course, we got my B and Sam Cook. <laughs> I thank you guys for getting thank that work with me today, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Everybody, yes, I want to leave you. you as I do every single day. Whatever you do, never, ever lose your focus. Never lose your focus. Always remember this. If you keep God first in any situation, mm -hmm. you seek his ways, yes. I guarantee you this, you're going to be a total success. Don't, don't lean to the left. Sometimes it may get a little difficult, but keep your eyes on here. So until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for another day filled with sunshine right here at Sunshine's Corner, know that I love you with a perfect kind of love. Keep shining while I'm gone.